Hey to all my beautiful VIPs, it's your girl Tressa Smiley and you know how we do. We are out here spreading smiles and positivity, VIP style. Now we're here for this huge event called The Game Changers, featuring Arnold Schwarzenegger and all about food nutrition. Now this is going to be an eye-opening experience, so I'm so excited. Guys, we're going to learn a lot about food nutrition and meat, <laughs> what we should be eating, what we should not be eating. So stay tuned guys, you don't want to miss this amazing show. I love you guys. On the red carpet with Tressie Smiley. It truly is a game changer. Vegan, life changing, meal, diet, protein. How is that going to affect our community when you're talking about our children? Basically, because the, the, the future, and I do a lot of empowerment speaking when I go into schools, how is it affecting the schools with the meal plans? Sorry to cut you off, but exactly what you just said is one of the reasons why I feel so strongly about. Uh, plant-based. Uh, obviously, we got to try to figure out a way, a way to make it more cost-effective. But the biggest thing is the education of it. You know, we we didn't learn uh, anything about uh, vegetarians or anything like that growing up, especially where we were. Um, I mean, our, our first nanny was vegan, and we used to give her the blues about it. We thought she was crazy. You know, so yeah, absolutely. So, so to see how much has changed, you know, yeah, changed our lives and, you know, we want to continue to try to teach as many people as possible and not force people to change, but once you see how your body responds, that's what, what gives you the, the opportunity. Hey, I'm Tony Gonzalez and I am here to support the film uh, and somebody who used to be a uh, vegan while I was playing for about two months, not too long, but based off of that change I made in year 10, uh, I just started incorporating more vegetables uh, into my diet, more seeds, more, more plant protein, uh, and I felt the difference and I really believe it allowed me to play uh, an extra seven years in the league because that was year 10 for me. Really? So it, was it just like an overnight shift or was something just that you just said internally, an internal shift or something that you just said, I'm just going to do this? What was that process? Like. You know what, I had a health scare uh, where I, I thought I had leukemia from a blood switch up uh, out there when I was playing for the Kansas City Chiefs and off of that it turned out it was, it was nothing major for me but it just gave me kind of a kick in the ass and said hey you got to do something, you know, you're in year 10, you're eating like crap, uh, you're starting to feel like crap and you know 10 years in the NFL is, is, is a long time uh, and so I made a difference. And how do you feel today? I feel great. I'm 43. Somebody thought I still played over there, uh, so I was like, "Hi, it's been it's been a while. Uh, it's been five years." But uh, but yeah, I feel great, and I still keep those changes along with some other stuff too. I'm really into the whole biohacking. And you should be. You only have one body. It is your temple, and it's up to you to take care of it. Yeah, and you feel good, and you produce. That's the thing about athletes now. When they get on this train, you see that it can put money in your pocket. That's what it's about. It's about, you know, and give you a chance at more glory out there to do whatever you want to do. So uh, I'm all for it. And I think every athlete, forget about athlete, like everybody, it doesn't matter. It's something anybody should incorporate into their diet. So are you excited about tonight? I can't wait to see it. It's going to be great. <laughs> hey, we're making America smile with Tressa Smiley. All right. Uh, I'm Ann Ornish. And I'm Dr. Dean Ornish. And um, we're, I'm in the Game Changers film as one of the medical experts because I've done research the last 40 years. We've done this work together showing that these simple lifestyle changes, eat well, a plant based diet, which is what the film's about, move more, stress less, and love more, can actually reverse most chronic diseases. We were the first to show you could reverse heart disease, diabetes, type 2 diabetes, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, uh, lengthen your telomeres and reverse aging. And we're doing the first study now to see whether these might even reverse the progression of early stage Alzheimer's disease. So we're trying, so, so stay tuned. It's easier than ever to eat plant-based food. It's becoming the cool thing to do. And it doesn't, you know, to the degree you do it, you're gonna feel better, look better, lose weight, and gain health. So the more you change, the more you improve at any age. That's what we found. Oh, it was fun. Okay, so you know, uh, we wrote a book together called Undo It, which is, you know, surveying all the work that we've done. And we found that these same lifestyle changes that this movie talks about are the ones that can actually reverse all of these different chronic diseases. You know, so many people get put on medications to lower their cholesterol, their blood pressure, their blood sugar, and they say, they say, doctor, how long do I have to take this? They say, forever. But we found that under their doctor's care, when you make these lifestyle changes, you can often reduce or get off these medications that you were told you'd have to take forever. Because the pills are not, they're just chemical. That's right, they don't treat the cause, whereas this is really the cause. 
And you know, and what's good for you is good for the planet. You know, more global warming is caused by livestock than all forms of transportation. They're burning the Amazon forest now to make more room for livestock, which you know, all that's preventable. And you know, it takes 14 times more energy to make a pound of meat-based protein. There's enough food to feed everyone. No one need go hungry if more people ate this way. But it's not all or nothing. Just have a meatless Monday, whatever you do, and then you'll start to go, oh, when I eat this way, I feel good. When I eat that way, I don't feel so good. So then it comes out of your own experience, and that's also what makes it sustainable.